How's it going, everybody? Welcome to a brand new episode of Crypto Clout. I am your host, FaZe Crypto. Today, we will be talking about Cardano. Today, we'll be talking about Bitcoin. And of course, today, we'll be talking about cryptocurrency at large. In the latest video, we actually included a video uh, in the video, a little clip of uh, Peter Schiff. He was talking about Bitcoin uh, back in 2011, and many of you responded positively to that. So I figured might as well start this video off. Um, you know, Bitcoin isn't a get rich quick scheme bitcoin is a get free quick scheme so uh essentially without any further ado i'm going to be uh handing off the mantle to this video uh, just for a few seconds to sort of set the tone uh very interesting points so listen carefully uh, then we'll continue with the day's news so uh let's get into it someone some group of people came up with a way out if you look at the evolution of money from when we used to have a barter system through shells, through precious metals, through precious metals stamped with king's faces on them, to paper money, and now to credit cards and mobile payments, someone created another way to have a money system without a central authority, and that is Bitcoin. If we think about the way digital payments work today, and again, all payments will be digital, there's a third party in the middle, whether it's Visa, Venmo, PayPal, WeChat. Someone in the middle can freeze your transaction, confiscate your funds, surveil and spy on you. With Bitcoin, your transaction is completely peer-to-peer. -peer. The payment processing is done by a decentralized global competition and not by an entity. This is a revolutionary step in human history. So, you know, obviously you can't oblige them all. Um, however, I think that he made a pretty, very uh, good point right there. Um, one that I think you need to listen closely. I mean, if you missed exactly what he just said right there, uh, it's pretty much a really uh, significant thing uh, when we want to talk about cryptocurrency and uh, what's eventually going to happen. And when he, the point I would point out um, most notably would be where he said all money will be digital. Um, so it, when it comes down to cryptocurrency, it's not a question of maintaining the old paradigm or moving on to the new one. The, the, the future is already here. The technology is already in place. And the fact of the matter is we're at a very critical juncture right here where the people right now, you and me, the players, uh, I mean, everybody who uses money essentially is going to be um, able to make this decision uh, and I mean, I think that it's one that's easier for people to ignore because they have the ultimate privacy uh, currency available to them right now, uh, which is the um, cash, a physical um, paper money <clears throat> is a far greater uh, decentralized sort of I mean, than anything ever. You know, the fact of the matter is uh, even, you know, convenience sake and all these different things. But imagine a world where fat, where um, cash is completely phased out, um, where you can't even get a dollar from the bank ever again. Um, and this will happen. This will be. And that world is one where Bitcoin is Im immensely valuable. Um, and of course, I mean, it might be a little ways in the future. Um, but talking about peer to peer, talking about decentralized, talking about agent centric. Um, I think that's a perfect segue into the conversation about Cardano. Um, but I, I think that that is an interesting point, uh, you know, and it is an interesting case to be made uh, when we want to talk about uh, these different technologies and how crucial um, the decision that's currently being made right now and the perception of cryptocurrency at large and how these things are going to be uh, very uh, influential in, in part uh, due to the fact that uh, there will be that high demand, which is, of course, why uh, in the next coming decade we'll be seeing the many, many um, companies using cryptocurrency not only as a solution to uh, many problems, but uh, also sort of uh, the average Joe uh, has a big stake in this as well. And I don't think that many people actually grasp the gravity of the um, what's happening right now, which is essentially, you know, it ties into the war on Bitcoin. It ties into the uh, overall, I mean, the universal struggle of cash. Um, I mean, you just look at Hong Kong or you look at anywhere in the world um, and it definitely, I mean, the, that middle party, um, I mean, you can't stress it enough. 
So, without any further ado, news on Cardano. The CEO of uh, IOHK, the company behind Cardano, uh, says his team is working on multiple um, behind-the-scenes projects focusing on new areas, possibly including proof of work, um, the Internet of Things, and privacy. Internet of Things is also um, something that we'll be de delving into in future videos, so definitely make sure you guys are subscribed, um, staying tuned and updated with the post notifications turned on to discuss um, Internet of Things because I, I think that that's also um, the one area of uh, discussion that doesn't get enough uh, air time. Uh, so that'll def that's sort of my New Year's resolution is to discuss the Internet of Things more. But so during the recent Ask Me Anything session on YouTube, uh, Hodgkinson says the company's new developments um, need a well-defined scope so um, they don't... Um, you know, IOHK's other projects, namely decentralized public blockchain platform Cardano. Um, so says the CEO, uh, there are other um, verticals, <coughs> the proof of work uh, space, uh, there's a sp uh, privacy space, there's uh, IOT space, uh, there's a social media space, and each and every one of these has business and technical requirements. Um, you know, I think that this is a good point that he's making here because, uh, I mean, not only does uh, cash, um, you know, transactions, the banks and so forth have a middleman, um, and, you know, with uh, Venmo and, or whatever, what have you, your credit card and all these different things. Um, but they, essentially, uh, social media has that same middleman problem. Um, you know, the algorithms and YouTube or on your Twitter, on your Instagram are all heavily manipulated. Um, and the fact of the matter is those algorithms will only continue to be more, um, you know, with the current situation, the current, um, you know, in the future of the Internet, um, it does go hand in hand. I mean, if we want to see a more organic uh, Internet and, you know, this goes in this is important, uh, you know, subject of conversation when we talk about um, monopolies, vertical monopolies, uh, just big tech in general. I mean, it is an interesting uh, point, and I think that, I mean, especially while we see the conversation about data, uh, the conversation about all these different variables really coming into their own, um, it, it'll be very interesting to see. So uh, Cardano's foundation achievements could pay off as ADA turns bullish. Um, I mean, so this definitely does sort of tie into what we talk about with the Cardano bull run potential. Um, you know, so in a recent blog post, the Cardano Foundation um, revealed that 2019 was a transformational year for the nonprofit organization, as well as the development of its native uh, cryptocurrency uh, ADA. The foundation's team expanded to more than 20 people across 12 countries. Uh, including Canada, China, Germany, J Japan, Portugal, consequently pushing the growth of Cardano community to more than 1.1 million individuals worldwide. Uh, so these are the numbers that we're talking about. I mean, this is insignificant comparatively when we want to talk about the massive um, you know, scalability that current crypto has in general, you know, hail in comparison to what we talk about with the current market cap of only 215-259-094316 but I digress um, so I mean it, these are very poignant um, topics though of discussion and you now I'm happy to be making this content to continue to um, discuss them uh, of course remember this video is for entertainment educational purposes only and um, you now remember, uh, you know, I'm not your financial advisor. I'm not your dad. Um, only here to discuss with you guys uh, these things. Um, but uh, you know, without any further ado, I'd also like to include um, this video right here, um, you know, sort of just as a closing statement. So we'll um, hand the um, mantle over to this video for a second, and then I'll give my closing statements. And telegram and you of course you can contact me on youtube i'll probably make a video sometime in the future i wanted to do a quick
All right, so I hope you guys um, hope the volume uh, came in well there. Um, anyways, <clears throat> if you guys want to connect with us on t uh, Twitter, that's at CryptoTuber. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.